Dr. I bring in all the wishes and greetings to you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I mean, you have done, I think, two options of doing yes. genetics on one side to score rank number three. Yes. And also pediatric subspecialties that you want to choose. And uh, there you have got a rank of 32. Yes. Uh, I think now, we, uh, I believe that you are in crossroads. I am actually. <laughs> uh, so, now where is the destiny is going to be? So, in pediatric subspecialties, I am interested in neonatology. And then the other option is genetics. I am passionate about both the branches. So, now I have to make the decision. So, what is the probable uh, decision that is there that is going to be on pediatrics or genetics? Still confused actually, sir. I'm thinking about it. So, are, you, are you a person that towards research and kind of a stuff? I do like research. Actually, I have done quite some research throughout my PG under my PG guide and mentor, Dr. Mamta Muranjan, ma'am. And she is a geneticist. She runs the KM Hospital Genetic Lab, which is also the center of excellence. So, um, hence I have a lot of genetic exposure and I also have neonatology exposure. So, your inspiration is from there. Well said and uh, whatever might be, but uh, why there is something that you choose? Uh, genetics probably you had an exposure and you have yes. taken it and pediatrics and uh, this two uh, in option, how are you able to prepare? So, so um, actually I prepared majorly for the pediatric uh, subgroup because the base of that is general pediatrics and systemic pediatrics which I've just given my MD exam. So, I appeared for it in um, September 2021. It was fresh from it. I started my senior residency at uh, KM hospital itself. That's where I've done my PG also from. And uh, hence uh, it was a matter of revision which was really aided by speed. Because there was Nelson table and image based classes that were conducted by Muthya sir. They actually covered all the chapters serially. So everything was covered, all systems, all chapters. Hence it was just revision uh, in terms of pediatrics. For genetics, I actually prepared uh, from Nelson itself, uh, from the genetics chapter and the metabolic chapter. And for the base, like 40% of genetics is also from medicine, gynac, pediatrics. So, for that, I did not do any specific preparation. I think I just followed speed videos and uh, tests. Can you elaborate on the genetics paper? 60 questions are from hardcore genetics? Yes, sir. So, 60% questions were from hardcore genetics, which included uh, clinical genetics as well as medical genetics. So, a um, lot of questions were um, based not just on um, clinics or uh, the routine uh, genetic questions that come in pediatrics, a lot of it was also related to biochemistry and uh, the way certain tests are conducted. That was the difference. So the 40 questions are from pediatrics itself. The other 40 was from only pediatrics, general pediatrics. 60% was from genetics. 40% was from pediatrics plus a little bit of medicine and even gynecology. So that, that was a common paper uh, I mean, that conducted for a pediatric uh, federal branch. I mean, the same 40 questions were there in your pediatric uh, subspecialty exams also? No, sir. So, uh, initially, uh, my first uh, almost 90, 100 minutes of the paper was genetics. So, 40% of the genetics, 60% of genetics, all that was conducted together. And then my pediatric exam started. So, the 40% was different of both the exams. So, it was uh, part and parcel of pediatric preparation and genetics from uh, pediatrics and medicine and all that you are able to do it and put it inside. Okay, very good. Now, uh, can you tell us from where you come from, where you did your medicine, where you did your pediatrics and uh, can you tell us something on that? Yes, sir. I am actually born and brought up in Navi, Mumbai and uh, I have done my MBBS from uh, LTMMC and Cyan Hospital in Mumbai. I have a gold medal in biochemistry and I have also got distinctions in all the years. Then I immediately got into PG, that was um, MD Pediatrics from Safe GSP or KM Hospital in Mumbai. I just cleared it and I have a gold medal in Pediatrics. In wow, <laughs> great. Yes, all happening, all happening only, continuous. Yes, sir. all thanks to the training also that I received in Pediatrics. Uh, my guide, Dr. Mamta Muranjan, ma'am, also professors, Dr. Sunil Karande, sir, 
the ex hod of uh, neonatology dr ruti nanavati ma'am the training that i've received uh, are responsible for my inclination towards these two branches so i do owe it to that i think a uh, lot of good things you have said and it's time for celebration actually and uh, and now i mean keep us updated on what you're going to choose and we are also a little curious what you're going to do and uh, having this two on board and also uh, want to ask you what is that uh, message that you want to give to your juniors or your friends they are aspiring to do a super specialty after pediatrics so um, as of now we always thought that pediatrics is an end branch but it isn't so anymore especially if um, somebody plans to settle in a tier one city um, metro cities so now something is required probably a fellowship or a dm or some people do go abroad so um, at least by second year or third year uh, it would be good to have a basic idea of um, what you want to do and um, accordingly prepare uh, i decided in march 2021 that i wanted to prepare for neat so i joined speed then and um, actually it has been uh, helpful because of the classes which were conducted by mukta sir and senthil kumar sir also uh, the test which i gave on the app so i was able to gauge my progress with all the tests that i gave almost every 15 days or one month um so there has to be some plan uh, which needs to be undertaken and it's a little difficult when you're also giving your md exam but it's certainly not impossible very good now uh, most of the students join pediatrics because it's an end specialty orthopedics and pediatrics are end specialty yes and uh, there's one of the reason that a quick settlement would be possible but i think now today the trend is changing i mean uh, it is changing that we want to do uh, super specialty after a masters and okay. it's the reason why people are started doing it and uh, and i give you one minute of uninterrupted time for you to thank all those people who inspired you uh, uh to build your medical career so far and this platform will be open to everyone and you can send those link to everyone whom you want now you can go thank and there is no time limit and you can do it so this has been my first attempt for the exam so i would really like to thank first of all my parents because i am i hail from a non medical family there's no medical background as such so without parent support all of this would have just been impossible also my brother my sister in law familial support my friends and then secondly the department of pediatrics at km hospital uh, my seniors faculty juniors they've all been instrumental in the training process all the pediatric patients that i've seen neonatology department that has played a very key role uh, in my success uh, also um, at the same time uh, the institute the opportunities that the institute has offered to me for example the genetic clinic of our institute it gives um, enzyme replacement therapy for gaucher patients and we also uh, give um, spinraza for spinal muscular atrophy so those kind of exposures i got because i was at this institute under my guide so i have seen patients living near normal lives because of these life saving treatments which are practically unaffordable by even um, the rich people of society uh that is one thing also the department of neonatology the kind of training the teaching programs hands on exposure that i got there that was um, key in um, my training procedure and um, at the same time um, i would obviously like to thank speed i made the right decision at the right time to join it and uh, that was when i was also preparing for md so i would say that even my gold medal speed institute the classes that uh, you know i saw on speed that even helped me in my md preparation so it was um, you know it worked two ways sir it's nice to hear it's nice to hear i think we can keep on hearing uh, so much of positivity and so much of energy and uh, i think uh, you will make everyone happy through your positive attitude and, and the energy that you carry with you great and <laughs> and i wish you all the best and all the success whatever you going to choose from now on of the options that you have and keep going and then you will keep inspiring people and uh, and i think uh, there is a beautiful career ahead for you and is awaiting and it is just you need to take whatever the way you want to take it and uh, whole heart wishes to you from the institute to you thank you for everything and to you to your family members to your friends and relatives 
God bless you. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you.